What? You don't fill your water jugs up at the spring? <laughs> Thank you, Rouseville. I needed that. If you guys own a water machine, like I do, we went to a filtered water machine because the tap water was coming out of the faucet kept killing our Keurigs. And I thought, these things are junk! So I thought, I'm never buying a Keurig again. But we went out and we got a water machine. We've had the same Keurig for three years now. So the, the chemicals in the tap water was killing the Keurig machine. So, if you had the same problem we did, there's your fix. That was for some subscribers of mine. They know who they are. Yeah! Ooh, life's getting expensive, but the cool thing is I got an Aspen scented Febreze. This is an Aspen. You can tell that it's an Aspen tree because of the way it is. I don't think that's Aspen. <sighs> that's not very nice. But this is nice. It's nice on ice. It's nice. <laughs> to be nice. It's nice to be nice. To the nice. <laughs> you want to know what isn't nice? I got to show you this. You know, every week I show you guys my merchandise store. I go check downstairs in the link below for my merchandise store if you want to buy stuff from me. Well, here's the funny story. I got to look in today. And in the search results, this come up. Uh-huh. That's my, that's my design. I designed that shirt. It is sold on my website. But do you see the website? That's not my website. Somebody stole my t-shirt design. And look at this over here. This person says they designed it. And now they're selling it. Can you believe what people will do? So, what I did. I had to write a nasty little note because you know how I get. Somebody's gonna be put into traction, I'm telling you right now, because you can't steal a design from me and sell it on your website. That's my design. So I had to write a little nasty note saying, take down that shirt. This is not yours. You didn't design it. You cannot sell it. This is what my website looks like. This is what it looks like on my website for sale. So, people, when I say go downstairs in the link below, that is my site. That is a safe site. That is secure. Everything is good on this. This one? No. I don't know who these people are, but you gotta watch out. Seriously. <sighs> Can't trust anybody. This is the Daily. Titusville forgotten relics on Route 8. We got a lot to get to today. We got a major vlog going on here. I got some relics I got to show you. But first, I did want to touch on one more thing about that design. Okay, people, if somebody would have contacted me and said, Hey, Joe, I don't know. I want to make some of your merchandise. Is it cool if I sell it on my, on my website? Sure. You want to promote me? You like my channel? Long as I know, I don't care. Make a million dollars. Good for you. Or if you contact me and say, Hey, Joe. I want to make some of your merchandise. Can I give you a cut if it sells real good? Sure. Sure, I'm all for that. But don't go ripping it off my website and making money off me when I don't know about it. I'm a nice person. Just let me know. So whoever this is, well, they're a klepto. But we, we, we need to go. We got a lot of stuff to cover today. Now ah, Route 8. It is the gift that keeps on giving. Route 8 has some hidden relics that you just drive by every day. You really don't notice them. But today, 
I'm gonna show you. You know, I should mention the old retro gas station at the end of Route 8 before you get into town. I've done this vlog before in detail. I did every sign here. One, I can't remember when I did it, but I've done every sign here on this back fence. But this is not the vlog today. The vlog is, well, up the road. Ooh, ooh, loud here. We gotta go. Man, I love winter sunny days. Woo! Keep it coming. A couple months ago, and you guys heard me say this before in the last couple weeks, I got a huge list of redos when I asked for requests or what do you want me to do. This week I'm finishing up all the redo requests that I got. by this place every day and don't realize what Toontown means. They figure it's just an old sign. No, it's just not an old sign. Good old Toontown. Back in the day, this was a concert venue. All this land, basically like a mini Woodstock. 1995, this was started as a big concert venue area. And over there, oh, the big tower over there, that's where the stage was. Here's a fun fact for you. David Allen Coe, Charlie Daniels, No Show Jones, Blue Oyster Cult played on this land when this began in 1995. 2000 it shut down because they weren't making any money. It kind of became a, um, a rave. Basically, uh, it got rented out and people threw rave parties here. The big stage sat right over there in that area right there. But when it shut down in 2000, and I don't know what the time stamp or time date was, but somebody broke in and they burnt down the stage. This place ran for five years. They had some big headlining names here. I mean, you, you get George Jones in here, Blue Oyster Cult, Fog Hat. Local bands were in here. And here's the thing I found amazing. Okay, people give me information all the time. 20 bucks to get into whoever it was. I don't know, depending on the person. 20 bucks to get in, watch the show. 20 bucks, free firewood. 20 bucks, camping. All for 20 bucks. All three of them, 20 bucks. You pay your 20 bucks per person, you can camp and have a good time. Amazing how things just go by the wayside. And a lot of people don't know about Toontown. They just see the sign that says Toontown. Yeah, and I think this, up, this was up for sale a couple months ago. Well, no, a month ago when I was looking to buy a house. I'm like, holy cow, Toontown's for sale. I, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm just saying this was up for sale. I don't know if somebody sold it or somebody bought the land. I don't know. But the concert debunked venue. It's crazy. Uh, basically what I got, the information on this, the promoter wasn't making any money. I mean, he was getting his business, but at the end of 99, 2000, it was kind of dwindling down. And the story I read, or the information I got from somebody who knew this place well, is when George Jones was actually here, there was a couple hundred people here. Come on now, George Jones, a couple hundred people? Seriously, if I would have known George Jones was here, I would have been here. I don't know if George would have been here because he had a tendency of not, well, showing up. But still, I would have been here. <laughs> it might survive nowadays with social media going on because back then advertising was expensive. Man, oh man. Yeah, I was reading a story about it. And um, when the profits weren't up, he just started renting the place out. And they had a, they had a bunch of weird events going on and there was one that was called still hippie happening or smoking hemp <laughs> smoking the vibes 
I mean, there was some stuff going on. You know, you do, you, whatever, you do your thing. But yeah, the thing didn't profit. It shut down in five years. It's crazy. This is the road I hit that stupid deer on. Wow. I just realized that. <laughs> My main YouTube channel, I did a lot of odds and ends. I just randomly picked stuff and did it. But I'm so amazed how people, they would watch it. And then like two, three years later, I would get like emails on it and I'd be like, man, because back in the day, it was just hit or miss. I would just do random stuff. Nowadays, I pretty much got a format of what I do. You basically follow me around for the week and I show you something that I find interesting, basically. But I'm so still amazed that three years later, and when I asked for requests, I got two, no, three, sorry, three emails about the oldest Venango church. And I thought, man, when did I do that vlog? That was two, three years ago. I'm thinking, I don't even know if that church still stands. But I did a vlog on the oldest standing church in Venango County. And I thought, well, we'll go check it out and see if it still stands. Cover our bases for this week. The church still stands. I can't tell you how awesome I think that looks. Look at these stones. They're all crooked and cockeyed. That is so cool. Why do I like stuff like that? You know, it's quite amazing. Well, that's not, that's not amazing. But it's quite amazing. This thing was built. I can't believe this thing's still standing. This was built in 1837. And I got to show you. Um... I love stained glass. What's going on in here? Holy moly. Oh man. Stained glass is still in there. Whoo. Oh man. Can you imagine? Wow. Yes, the floor is caving in. But man, oh man. The thing is still. <laughs> There's pictures online. Of this place inside when it, when it was in its heyday but man oh man look at the side of this building this is 2024 okay and look at this pick right here okay that's 1837 this place is still standing yeah it's not as good as it once was not to quote toby keith but man i love old buildings like this that's crazy. You know what? I think my wife said when she was a kid, she went to Bible school here. Man, oh man, I'm surprised it still stands. This is like four years ago I did this vlog. That's nuts. Now in the email, the person said, I love that vlog. Is the church still standing? And I think that's not the oldest church in Venango County. And also, too, I got a comment, too. that said, I think the, the church on Baker Hill Road in Cooperstown, PA, is the oldest Venango church. So I went looking, you know me, I love information. Well, I found it. Hopefully you can see this because I am in the sunlight. Cherry tree pedest <laughs> pedestrian. What are you talking about? Presbyterian church was constructed in 1837. The cemetery on the right contains graves that pre predate the church, all, although considering to be the oldest church building in Venango County. The structure is now vacant. You bet it is. Okay. Well, here's the deal. The book says considered to be the oldest oldest church in Venango County. But the one on uh, Baker Hill Road in Cooperstown is gone. I have no information on that. Nothing. You know, I got chased by dogs to come in the cemetery, right? I totally did. Come here. All right. Come here. I guess I don't want to be in the vlog. Hmm. It's funny. See, I never know what emails or what people like. And I thought when I did, I did the old abandoned movie drive-in theater years ago probably four years ago I thought man when I all these requests were coming in about this random stuff I did I thought oh I bet I'll get a request to do the drive-in theater again I didn't but 
if you want to, go back to my main channel and check that one out. It's like four years old. So scroll all the way down. Yeah, it's there. Trust me. But that was a cool one. I thought I would get a request for that, but no. And don't worry, people. What you sent me in comments and emails, I wrote down. So everything people requested a couple months ago, I wrote it down. That is on the list. These are just the redos that people wanted to see again to see if they still were there. Well, I did the redos. And two, you know how many requests I got for Franklin? Ty Nesta? Um, it's insane. But when the weather comes and changes and it's sunny every day, those are gonna get done. Um, I just wanna say, you people are beautiful. There's no going around it. Beautiful people here. <laughs> Well, I just broke my belt. Oh, oh. Hey, when you break your belt, what do you do? You buy that. <laughs> Freaking right. Look at that. Now you're in style. Okay, back to town. Hi, Kiki. Well, that ain't lemonade. I see. It's with these people, man. Lemonade. Read the sign. Lemonade. Read it. Delicious. Iced tea at a lemonade stand? Looks like I'm having tea. Ah, I guess I'm having tea. <laughs> you know, it's crazy to think. Every day, I go out and I at least do five, ten minutes of filming. If I can, between work and my home life. But some weeks are different than others. Some weeks I have a lot of time to do stuff. Some weeks I don't. This week was kind of crazy, but I've been researching something that I haven't done before and it's been a request and it's kind of out of my realm, let's say. But that's next week. You gotta wait till Monday to see that video. I know, I'm so mean. So sadly, I gotta say goodbye. But those were the days when I had a short week of filming, but I got to go out to Toontown Redo a vlog I did four years ago on a request and the church too. Um, I don't know, any of you guys ever go there when you lived in town here that watch me? I mean, still, structurally, you put a basement into that place. I don't know, you could probably still use that building. It doesn't look that bad to me, to me looking at it through a person who likes to fix stuff up. I'm just saying. And sadly, those are the days when you go online and you see some scumbag ripped your artwork off and didn't even let you know about it. Now if you do 15 to 10 hours a week in editing, you go out after your full-time job and you film what you think people want to see on the old YouTubes and you put out a product you think is worthy of people watching it and you edit and you take the time to leave your family and you take the time to drive the places and you take the time to sit down, do artwork. Everything on this channel is my artwork. Everything is me. Editing, filming, me driving, it's me. It's 100% me, there's no middleman here. My wife is the support system. And when I find that somebody online has stolen, well, something, a design that I created three, four years ago, and they're making money off me, not even let me know, well, they're a scumbag. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I believe the world is full of mostly good people. Yes, there are scumbags out there. You should see, this, you should see the shows my wife watches on TV. They're crazy. There's some bad people out in the world, but I feel most of the people in the world are pretty good, but there's some out there, like the scumbag that did this, well, if I knew who they were, they get the boots put to them. I'm just telling you, you can't do that. Big thanks to you, very beautiful people that support me. I can't appreciate enough of the comments, but people that buy my stuff, because the people that buy my stuff, the t-shirts, what you're watching me on, that all that profit buys the GoPros, buys the equipment buys all the stuff for this channel 
And when this person wants to steal from me, I don't care how much they're making or how much they didn't make, they're just stealing from me. Aspen. This is an Aspen. You can tell that it's an Aspen tree because of the way it is. Welcome to your life. There's no turning back. Yeah.